This is Richard Wolf from Democracy at Work with another response to an Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. This one comes from Joshua Paris and asks questions about the union co-op store that we do indeed have on our democracyatwork.info website. Uh, it's a store where you can buy all kinds of interesting things that have to do with our political project, our critique of capitalism, our advocacy for worker co-ops as an alternative to the capitalist system, a better way to secure our economic needs for goods and services. What do I mean by union co-op store? Well, we generally talk about worker co-ops, by which we mean a particular organization of the workplace. And by that particular organization, we have something very concrete in mind. It's an organization, an enterprise, a factory, an office, a store, in which all the people who work there together make all the basic decisions. One person, one vote majority rules. The people who work there together by majority vote decide what the enterprise will produce, what technology it will use to do that, where the production will take place, and what will be done with the output, either the output in goods and services or the output in terms of the money received if the goods and services are sold for money. So that's what a worker co-op is. A union co-op is a worker co-op in which there's also an organization called a union. A union of the workers, like a union of the workers in a capitalist system. The difference is in a capitalist system, the union of the workers confronts the employer as an adversary, as someone to fight against for higher wages, for better working conditions, and so on. Whereas in a union co-op, the organization of the workers in a union is a completely different operation because its job is to represent the interests of those who are workers relative to the interests of those who are also workers but are in, usually temporarily, a kind of directing or supervising position. That's because in many co-ops, worker co-ops, uh, the decision is made that the workers together will elect and hold accountable a subgroup a small group that will be given certain supervisory functions. To prevent them from becoming anything like an employer class in a union worker co-op, it would probably be decided to rotate. That is, different people would periodically be elected to be supervisors. The supervisors would go back to being regular workers and so nobody would abusively use a supervisory position because they would know full well that were they to do that, they would be subject to that when it comes time for the rotation and for them to stop being supervisors and to become regular workers. We have tried in our union co-op store to source whatever we sell, the mugs, the t-shirts, and so on, to source them from union co-ops. We want to show our solidarity not only with the concept of worker co-op, which we advocate for, but also our solidarity with unions as an important institution to protect workers in capitalism and an institution that can have a new and different but important role in an economy based on worker co-ops as well. Thank you, Joshua Paris, for your question. This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work.